here. Is that all your stuff? Yeah, that's it. Oh, traveling light. The what one? They only had the shabby ones. They didn't even have your honey ones. Oh, those bastards. Those ones are pretty good. Yeah. Oh, dribbled. This, yeah? This fine. This, this good. fine, good. Okay, now we do the red. Strap. Rapping. Blue, the purple. Beauty. This is strappy good. I think we're fine. Look at this spot. Amazing. Pretty dang good. All right, back on the quad we go. Yo, team, what's up? Welcome back to another video with Dustin. Back on one of the favorite rivers I think we've ever fished. I've ever fished, probably Dustin as well. Yeah. It's really good, trout in here are really good. What am, I, what, what, what am I trying to say here, Dustin? What am I trying to say? Water's up a bit. Yes. So this, it's kind of weird, this river, this time of year, the water, there's no rain, everything's dry, and the water level comes up in this river, which is, very counterintuitive, um, but that's what happens. It's actually a little bit higher, a little bit dirtier than I thought it was going to be, which is always the case when I come in this time of year. I think I'm like, ah, oh, damn, it's high and dirty. But uh, the fishing is normally really good, regardless. Cicadas. We saw, we heard lots of cicadas on the way in here, and they were even flying. Haven't seen many cicadas flying yet this year, so this is a great river for that as well. But the weather, it's a little bit overcast. It's not going to be super hot, so I don't know, time will tell. Both got the same rods, loop, cross S1, five weights, nine foot five weights. I got a cicada dropper on mine, he's got a double nymph rig on his. We're probably going to use his one a whole lot more because that seems, I reckon that's what the fishing is going to be. But anyway, we're going to, I think I'll run a cicada through here and then Dustin will follow me with the nymphs and he'll probably catch a fish. So the, the flies that I've got on, this is a big wumpfer, in case you don't know, it's a big cicada pattern, it's massive. It's a wumpfer. It's a wumpfer and uh, it's a category 3 fly and this down here is a size 14 pole position I fish this thing all the time it's my go to cicada oh good rainbow on cicada that's a good start though that's really cool encouraging Dustin's in. So, yeah, it's, it's scientific anglers' leaders. They got huge bump knots in them. That's a good fish. I haven't had it up one time. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, boy, that's yeah. a tanker. That's at least a five pounder. Pretty fish. Real good condition. Just 
switch onto this. What was that fly? 101. 101. What nice. a fish. Beautiful. So good. Yeah, go. yeah happy. Oh, he got me so wet. <laughs> nah, that's right. I'm not. I don't have high hopes that this is going to work. If I'm honest. Right, yeah. Oh my god. It happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh dude. Oh. Why didn't I get you to film? <laughs> I have the camera. That was so good. I just didn't think that was gonna work. We just came up slowly and slow motion. Yeah, as soon as the cicada hit the water, I was like, oh no. He's gonna eat it. <laughs> so good though. Cicada. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Oh, oh. So good. It's so red. So So there's that. Oh. Come on, just relax. There's that huge cicada in the roof of his mouth. Hopefully that came out on GoPro, it probably wouldn't. Dustin offered to film it. It's actually a little bit skinny, a little bit, you know, he's, he's just cruising, chilling on the inside. But he wanted to eat a cicada. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so a couple of fish on the board were skipped a lot of water. Kind of just pushing through, looking for cicada -y kind of water. This is a little bit better. So Dustin's running up through it with a cicada before we go through with the nymphs. I did just get that one fish. This is like third or fourth cicada eat today. So it's only going to get warmer. It should only get better with a bit of luck oh my god that was a big brown did you see that yeah i, I just saw a big flag dude that was a big brown trout yeah. i'm up quite high and the water's a little bit dirty and the, this river has a has a tendency to make fish look a bit bigger than they are but that was like eight pounds come on now don't tell me that <laughs> That big brown, that's the line, he was sitting right there. Oh, that's him! That's oh, a rainbow. rainbow! I actually saw that fish just before he ate it. Oh, really? Yeah. He's big, though. Yeah, looks like a good fish. Is that the fish? It wasn't the brown. Nah, nah. Nah, that's behind where he was. Yeah. The first one was definitely a brown. I mean, that makes me happy, but yeah. I'm so happy about this fish. Nice one. Left hand side. Oh really? Yeah, he came across like, oh. Net. I can get your net. Oh yeah bro, well done. position right on the roof. Right where it should be. Yep. Yeah man. What a snout on him. Yeah. If it's you really look cool. up from the top, it's really wide. Yeah. Looks super cool. You wanna tell me what to do? Just let him go when you're ready bro. Alright. Yep. See ya buddy. Go! Oh, that was cool. Dude, you just landed that right behind a fish. Same line, just a little longer. A nice right. Oh, stop, stop. He's on the inside now, right at, just in front of you. A rod length. to the right of that. Are you going down his left side on purpose? No. He's further to the right. Much for another two feet right nearly. Better. He's got a chance of seeing the nymph on that one. 
There it is. Oi! Dang! Everything broke. Dang! Oh, I always check the knots. A lesson I learn far too often. Alright, well, we've seen a nice brown through here. Got it to look at a cicada. But it, did, it looked at it and then decided that it wasn't happy and swam away. So we just had a sandwich, had a moosey bar. Now Dustin's, we're hoping he'd come back, but he hasn't. But before we leap, we're just going to um, run the nymphs through that inside edge, that slower bubble line. It should hold a fish or two. Time will tell. Yep. Oh, it's him. He was there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the same fish you Oh, he really likes those trees over there, doesn't he? No fish. <laughs> this, uh, we'll do it. We could. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it'll be the same fish. That's a really nice brown. Bro, well, that's the same. That's fish probably. That's probably. Red dots and everything. Look how big it is. Yeah. It's probably bigger now. It's the same fish you caught the other day. How cool is that? It is so good. It's like no marks on it. What a beautiful fish, eh? Yeah, what a beautiful fish. Oh. So, we're pretty sure we could go look back through photos, and we're fairly confident here now that that is the same fish I caught last time, and it tried to do me on those rocks over there. It's probably one of the prettiest brown trout I've ever caught, and now Maybe. Dustin's ever caught as well. It's really, really cool that we're both able to appreciate the same fish like that. Like, he's, he's, he's over the moon with that fish. It's such a pretty fish. And the one two up here, one two three, and one two, and then one two. Three spots, one two, one two. Same fish, different day. You would think that would just get munched, wouldn't you? That's what you would think. Was that go down? Yep. It looks like a good fish from here. Looks like a, I think it's a big rainbow. I do not want to get anywhere near those logs. Yep. That looks huge. Get out of that log. It looks big, hey. Yeah, I think it's probably just the water again. Yeah. For sure. Get away from that log, fish. Get away from that log. Or he's got powder burn still if he wants to go to that log. He'll get there. Whoa, shit. Get away from that log. Oh no, he just wrapped. No, I think he just came right again. Dude, that looks so big. Why won't this guy? Fun, real nice rainbow. Let him go. 
see, buddy. Boom! Shot. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we, <laughs> that's like that's the best bit of water we've seen for that, and exactly that happened. Yeah, so you can't see fish in there, but the lot, you know, the likelihood of there being one is uh, pretty high, and that's also the kind of water that these fish will eat oh, as cool. a Okay, okay, cool. okay. This is gonna work. Three, two, one. Yum. Yep. He's chewing on it. Told you. <laughs> oh, oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, here's a handful. Oh, nice. Yeah, he was when he did that big run let me see if i can ditch these somewhere hang on almost yeah solid that's a beautiful fish yeah i think so what a pretty fish what well on, bro? Good fishing. Yeah. Double. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. No! What? How is he still there? No way! <laughs> I think I flossed them down to the uh, down to the nymph. He looks pretty big too. This guy will not let me get his head up. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's heavy. What a fish. Oh man. <laughs> okay, just uh, hold on to that. Man, he swallowed that thing. Do you need a forceps? Well, it's barbless, so it should just pop out, but it's it's like right in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> that's what he smashed. Look at his, the golden on his, under his eye. Everything looks so cool. Yeah, such a pretty fish. Have a look at this fish and then I'll tell you what happened. Really solid fish, potentially fish of the day. I don't know actually. Super good fish. Look at him. Yeah. And he absolutely inhaled that cicada in bubbly, bubbly water just up there. So good. And really strong fight. The fight that I got out of this guy was silly. We definitely have to re after this. We're going to let him go. He had a, we had a big battle. Uh, he's probably pretty tired, so I'm just going to let him go. You right? You happy? Yeah. He's pretty ready to go. See you, buddy. 
Oh, that was really cool. <laughs> oh, wow. So you got your cicada fish. I got them. Started looking in that bubbly water. Like Dustin just got a, a, a cicada bite through here. And then this gnarly water up through there, I put it through here, nothing. And then there's two rocks just up there, those two. I put it through just in between those two rocks and that fish came out and absolutely inhaled it. I think I was recording on the GoPro, I hope I was. Um, and then it got stuck on a rock. I thought for sure I've lost it. The line was all under a rock, I was bouncing it, let a heap of slack out so it would get out, finally got it out from underneath the rock. Then it was super slack. I thought the fish was on, I was winding up. And when I wound up more, I was still connected to the fish and somehow landed it, landed it. Really fun fish, I won't forget that one in a long time. Oh well, not too bad. Yeah, we were good there. Oh yeah, last time was, the last two times was like ridiculous how many fish we caught, big fish. Mm. I think I only caught two good ones. Yeah. The one that looked huge. And then that one on the web cicada. Right, should we see if we can find our way out? Is it, are you on a real strong game trail? 